Hey everyone, this is Helen and John again at Parkwell Farms and this video is about sheep rotation. And essentially sheep rotation is setting out a smaller wire area for them to graze in so that their the parasites and their feces have enough time to cycle through and it also helps our grass recover um, better. Uh, so what I'm doing here is uh, just just pulling up. I've, I've got most of my equipment with me at the time that I'm going to need. And uh, first thing first is going to be turning off the solar power source that we have for the electric fence, pulling the clip, and then I get that out of the way. And then uh, I don't get that out of the way yet. Sorry. And then uh, essentially just start start trying to get the electric fence down so that we can start getting them moved. Uh, right here I noticed they're gonna leave as soon as I move this out so I gotta go over here and close this fence. Yeah and they just kind of meander and mosey around and try and get the you know the greener grass on the other side of course um, while we take down the wire fence and that's totally fine. You just don't want Jack the sheepdog to run them over or anything. Yeah, or, or them to kind of get into a location that we can't quite uh, wrangle them in from. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, it's it's pretty um, pretty brown in there. So they've eaten it quite quite a bit down, and so they eagerly rush out to go get to some of that green grass. Mm -hmm. uh, so now I start taking the electric wire off of the posts, which gives me a little bit of trouble here on this first one, uh, but it's important to make sure that you take them off nicely so that you don't snag anything or ruin the uh, electrical continuity. Why is it so, is it usually this tangled? No, this no, specific it's just, steak? yeah, okay. I just had, I just had issues with this one here specifically. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. And so, uh, so when I take them off, I, I just take them off, leave them loose, and then I re-angle the the stake so that it's easier for me to pick up with the uh, with the mower later when I pass by. And how long do we normally keep them in one grazing area with the electric wire? It's probably one to two weeks, right? Depending on the season. Yeah. So uh, during spring, summer, uh, it's about a week for each each location that we have them in, and we have our uh, we have a one acre pad fenced in, and we split that up into three different zones for mm -hmm. each uh, each week, essentially. Yeah, yeah. And then I just get that out of the way over here, put 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 that aside so that I can uh, focus on reeling up the wire. And again, we got all of these tips and recommendations regarding the electric wire equipment, the brand, you know, the stakes and even the two wire system from the sheep farmer in Delaplane, whom we bought our sheep from. Her name is Andrea. Shout out to Hidden Creek Farm in Delaplane. She is an excellent resource and was so helpful in just giving a lot of information about caring for the sheep, um, maintaining them, and knowing what to look out for. Um, I didn't even know, like for example, um, we had to quarantine them before they could eat the grass on our pasture. Yeah, that was just uh, because they were moving from one pasture, hers, to our pasture. So it's uncertain what kind of uh, microorganisms or whatnot might be in the uh, in the grass. Um, so when I uh, when we started dealing with this, I'd, I had to figure out a way to make sure that we could move everything and the only thing I had at my disposal is this uh, lawnmower that, that we got. And um, so I rigged up a cage system on the back of it with the roll bar. Um, probably not the safest thing considering we do have hills, but I, I keep it very, uh, very safe when I, when I do my mowing. But uh, it's really helped out tremendously to have something on the back that I can actually put things on you it's know, the so useful and, yeah, you can put yeah. anything on there and just use some bungee cord hooks to keep them secure yeah yeah and then uh so what we're doing over here we're going to start setting up uh in this other pad so we'll start setting out the stakes and uh
we're going to divide these actually because it's in winter we're going to divide them into two sections that way they can hopefully stay for about two weeks in an even bigger location so we won't have to move them we're essentially feeding them all uh, hay at this point um, they have a little bit of pasture to eat but not too much and then the rest of their uh, feed is going to be supplemented by hay yeah i mean of course during the spring and summer when the grass is much more lush and it grows very aggressively um, we can make these electric wire grazing areas smaller um, and we don't have to give them so much hay because they have so much grass to to eat and how many steps do you take what's the distance between the stakes? Um, between stakes i usually go about six paces uh, i'm not sure what that is in footage but it essentially it's to I, I do it so that it it's long enough to keep the wires from sagging yeah, I think I do about six steps too, six to nine. Yeah. And, and <laughs> I just want, I always want to say this, this is our sophisticated watering system for a sheep, two Lowe's buckets, <laughs> that's it. And then, uh, yeah, luckily luckily for us, the previous owner on this, uh, on this property had water hoses set up and I mean, he, he was doing the exact same thing. He had the same kind of sheep. We have Katahdins, and uh, he had had Katahdins out here before. And mm -hmm. so luckily he had had the whole thing set up uh, for us before we got to it. And that's kind of why we chose this property in the first place. Yeah, and um, I don't know if you noticed, it was like a tread line, like a trail couple seconds ago and that's where Jack our sheepdog kind of takes his path you can see it now <laughs> yeah to do his little monitoring stroll there's actually another little path and that's the uh that's the path the cat takes as well uh they both kind of kind of make their own way around and uh that's that's also what we uh why why we divided it up into smaller pads as well is because we want to be able to have our sheepdog run the perimeter that's right and you know you know, keep out coyotes or, you know, whatever, whatever may come to uh, try and take our animals down. And he does an excellent job, for sure. So now we're going to put just the fresh water into the new grazing area where we are going to put our new electric wire fence. Um, and you're going you're not going to set up the wire yet, right? You're going to. No, 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 no. Go so I got to I got to go get the uh, I got to go get the shed first bring the shed in and that way uh, I don't have to worry about running over the wire with the with the mower or the shed or taking an extra step. So the plan is to pick up the shed and then pull it in there and hopefully the sheep follow me in. Uh, so we'll see. And so this is the uh, this is the shed that we built. Um, yes, we. Yeah. Both of us, which is amazing because I've never worked with you know, the different types of saws and drills and everything to this extent. So I learned a lot um, just working with John. Yeah. Well, what what she did was uh, she ended up doing all of the cutting. Uh, actually, I had, I had Helen start on the whole project uh, and then I would come in and assist every once in a while. So she did a really, really good job. And so what this is, is this is just a makeshift hitch that I had created. Uh, put a little L plate on the back of the mower and then pulled off a... Uh, a little chunk of wood with a hole in it and uh, that's what I'm doing is screwing in a little piece of all thread so that'll make the hitch uh, made a couple shelves back there what I've got back there is uh, we've got the mineral for the sheep and then another little shelf for uh, you know just just anything I may need to put up there yeah and the the little white basket of mineral powder that John was talking about I'm I use the word selenium but basically it provides these essential minerals for the sheep that they don't really quite get just from eating the grass, especially in this area of the States, I believe. So that's essential. And then uh, another thing we've got here is, so that bucket there we use for feed. Uh, yeah, for the grain, the, yeah. the supplemental grain. And then that bag right there is a slow feed, slow feeder. And that way they don't just kind of eat all the hay right at once. It takes them a little while to kind of eat through and get it. Uh, Andrea said as well, make sure that we don't have any loose, uh, 
loose string or rope or anything hanging around like that because they may choke themselves on it. So we make sure to wrap that up as well when we do that. Yeah, and so, yep, we put the shed in there and that's our final product. We get the wire set up and they just follow us on in. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it. Bye.